So when you encounter a snake in the wild, it's recommended that you stay really, really calm and really, really still. And what we want you to do is just to slowly back away from the snake. So the snake might flare up and react. It's really important just to stay nice and slow with your movements and to slowly back away from that animal. So if we jumped up and flailed around and really carried on, if we saw a snake, that might alert the snake and make the snake more scared and cause it to react in a way that we really don't want. So if we remain really calm and really relaxed, the snake will just go about its day like we're not even there. Chances are you've, it's probably lived around you for you know, a large amount of time, even a couple of years, and you've just caught it at this one time and it's sort of probably as scared as you are that it's bumped into this giant human being and just wants to go back to what it was doing. It's really hard to convince people that something without arms or legs and a lot of teeth and a lot of potent venom is actually okay, but when you look at the benefits they bring to our natural habitat and our ecosystems around us, they really have a place and a role to play in that. So it's really important that I think we respect that and just let them go about what they're doing just as we go about our day. If you are bitten by a snake, it's really important if you have no first aid to contact triple zero. So make sure you get some, some medical help, some emergency services there to, to assist you. If you're lucky enough to carry uh, a pressure bandage to make sure you put that on really nice and firm, want to stop that venom from spreading through your lymphatic system and moving through your body. And just remaining calm, staying seated, remaining cool. We don't want to be bitten by a snake and run around and pump all this venom around your body. And I think that they're really um, sort of misrepresented as this animal that's out to sort of go after human beings when really they just sort of live a calm life and want to go about their own sort of thing. And the last thing they want to do is come after you and really bite you. It sort of ruins their day too. Uh, so they just want to go and look for a frog or have a drink or something like that and don't really want to be disturbed by us.